Rwanda's minibus, locally known as Bubura. The minibus gives the passengers more comfort, lower transport fare, while also being environmentally safe. Lawan's bus is one of the several newly converted electric buses that is being distributed to drivers in the state. Customers are enjoying the car because they are sitting comfortable. Those that are using fuel, they are taking them 44 per seat and 17 era. We, our car, we are carrying them 33 per seat and it's 50 15 era. So the car is very, very nice, very, very oily. The boss is a brainchild of Nigerian entrepreneur Mustafa Gajibo, who has been converting petrol mini buses into electric vehicles at his workshop. At the workshop, he has already ripped the combustion engines from 10 mini buses, replacing them with solar panels and batteries. The buses, which have been operating for just over a month, cover 100 kilometers on a single charge. The university dropout and resident of Meduguri in Nigeria's northeast says rising global oil prices and pollution caused by fuel cars inspired him to start converting the buses to electric vehicles. As you can see, we always have uh, prices of fuel are going up, prices of uh, transportation are also going up, and then you can see the damages uh, normal vehicles. That's the petrol-powered vehicles, diesel-powered vehicles are causing to our environment. So I came up with this technology to solve all this problem. Like in most of Africa, the combustion engine reigns supreme in Nigeria because electric vehicles are expensive and there is little electricity and infrastructure to charge the vehicles. He faces odds, not least because Africa's top producer and exporter of crude oil is addicted to gasoline, which is heavily subsidized by the government while electricity needed to charge electric vehicles is very patchy. For now, Gajibo has one charging station powered by solar. His drivers bring in their buses to charge at the station while the maintenance work is done every two weeks. After every two weeks, all the vehicles will, will come in for maintenance. So what we do here for maintenance is to check the battery level, to check all the batteries are well tight, to check the BMS battery management system if they are working well, or to see if there is any damage in connection or there is any loss in power of the, of the batteries. Cost is a very key thing we put into consideration when designing our buses uh, and our vehicles at large. Uh, because you know it doesn't make sense to produce a technology that people cannot afford. So we are always trying to see how we bring down the cost of our production so as our selling costs will be also affordable for people. For driver Mohamed Lawan, who has been unemployed in the past four years since he left school, he is getting so many passengers and now making enough money and finally thinking of getting a wife. It's when I finish my school, I have no job, but for now as I get the job, all my plan now is all about to have the family. Because as I got this job now, I thank God, now I can face my, I can face the family issues. Gajibo's most ambitious project is building a vehicle from scratch. He is building a 12-seater battery-powered bus fitted with home-style air conditioner in a push to promote clean energy and curb pollution and make electric vehicles a better alternative in Nigeria. When done, it can cover up to 200 kilometers on one charge. There are other hurdles like foreign currency shortages that make it difficult to import parts. So, he is looking to source inside Nigeria.